God damn, it's a little f***ing cold. Man, you can't tell with this f***ing Houston weather. Celine Chores, he... Gotta put some damn pants on. Alright guys, we back, we back, bro. Let's get with some pants. Alright guys, so here we are. Shootout crunch. Trying to get ready for this weekend to go to the shootout with the turbo truck. Oh yes. Aquí en el turbito. Mamalón. We went ahead and did the new headlights as well, as you can see. So I thought the headlights, porque las que estaban puestas están bien quemadas. The new wheels, the American Forge wheels. Got some 20 by 10s in the front. Also 20 by 10s in the back. Hell yeah. Oh, when they stand out from the bed, you know? I think it looks really good. G gave it a badass stance, that's for sure. And they don't rub. Well, they haven't rubbed yet. The front does rub a little bit. When I go over bumps and stuff, it rubs. The back does not rub, so that's that's the good thing about it. But, oh, man, the wheels gave it a whole different look, guys. Just in time for the shootout. So, we're excited. Como les digo, we're on that shootout crunch. Getting the truck ready for the shootout so we can go out there, have some fun with it, be at the burnout pit. Got some last-minute things that we gotta do. As a matter of fact, I have not driven it much, uh, which has been pretty much just making sure everything's working correctly so that when we go to the show, we don't have no issues. I did notice an oil leak so there's an oil leak in the in the engine you know let me see if i can show you guys i think i found the issue the issue is the dipstick i think it's broken from right here guys i think it's broken right here because originally these dipsticks go like somewhere around this area but since the turbo's here they had to kind of bend it a little bit back and i think it broke i'm hoping that's going to be the issue so i'm going to be swapping out that dipstick right now so we can get it up and running again see if it's going to be uh, leaking so look this is how a dipstick goes. This is where it goes right here. So it goes from the oil pan, goes up to the side, y luego sale como por aquí, see? This is where you fill up the oil, here's a dipstick. This side, here's where you fill up with oil, dipstick's back here. So I'm hoping that's the problem because it does look wet right there. Hopefully get it, uh, get that leak eliminated so we can finally go drive it. And as soon as I seen some oil, I didn't want to get on it. I just trying to figure out what the oil was coming from. So I wasn't able to kind of enjoy it or, or do a test run on it. Let's get this fixed up, take it for a drive. See if we can hear that turbo spool. And uh, yeah, guys, guys, really quick. We're gonna go to hit 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you support the channel by hitting that subscribe button below. Hit that bell notification, like this video and drop a comment below, guys. What do you guys think of a turbo truck? And this thing sounds really good, guys. Sounds really good. It looks good with the new wheels, the new headlights. I'm gonna be doing some more upgrades on it we're gonna be changing the the grill i don't know if to do the 06 classic grill 06 07 classic front end or to leave this one guys what do you guys think what should we do leave this front end or should we do the newer style front end the classic front end with an ss bumper or the same bumper just color match it and a cow drop a comment below guys what should we do to this one to make it stand out but oh yeah let's get this oil dipstick changed get it up and running make sure there's no more oil leaks get it washed up and get it ready to go So there is a dipstick, as you can see. They had to fold it because the turbo goes there where the dipstick used to go. So it's in the way. So they had to fold it, but unfortunately broken, as you guys can see right there. Like right in between the little bracket and the actual dipstick. They se quebró. So I'm hoping that's the issue because there was oil coming out around this area. So let's get it swapped out for the one on the C10. Let's show you what I did real quick because we went a whole different route. This I was gonna try to put that dipstick from the C10, but no jalo. I didn't want to bend that one and possibly break it. So what we did was, all right, guys. I don't know if you can see, but that is the dipstick. The dipstick comes out through here, and it went up, routed up this way. Y aquí está más rápido en el boat. Well, it usually goes up here. It got bent back, which is not a big deal. But unfortunately, it broke or it cracked a little bit. So it started leaking oil from there. As you can see, it was leaking oil. It's okay. So I tried fixing it. We tried welding it. No jalo. Uh, it was too thin of a metal to weld. Didn't work. I cut it. Put a cap on it. As you can see right there. Put a cap on it. And that's it. That's all I did. Pretty much, I just kept it. I think that's it. So I'm going to turn it on. Hopefully, it doesn't come off. And if it doesn't, ya chingamos. So, vamos a chicarle. More oil? No mama is with coming from the fing so this bitch is not gonna make it. Alright guys, 
guys so we got everything buttoned up we put everything back on it looks like it's not leaking no more so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a little test drive see if it leaks anymore and uh we'll go from there guys but hopefully it doesn't anymore porque ya what this thing ya quede oh yeah shifting fine vamos a ver vamos a ver qué hace a ver cómo se escucha I didn't see no oil, that's a good thing. When I took it for a drive the first time, when the muzzle was stepping on it a little bit, I seen a cloud of smoke coming out of the back, but right now I didn't see that. So we're good. It felt really good, guys. Again, I didn't see no oil come out, so I think we're golden, guys. I think we're really good. A ver. Damn. Man, that sounds good, guys. Takes a while. Wait, otro, otro, otro. So right now it was, it was rubbing. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, was, yeah, well once I take that weight off, the back ones weren't hitting, only the front ones. Only on that side too. Damn. Got a bigger gap over here. Yeah. Yeah, that bitch takes out like a motherfucker. See that? Huh? Huh? Un poquito más, una pulgada. Yeah, it'd be alright. Shut thing, one more inch in the back. I see. Este no trae la llanta la chingada. Yeah. Está lista para las semanas, tomorrow. Yeah. Choice on the wheels, it looks sick as fuck. Look good, huh? I wasn't yeah. too, I wasn't a big fan of the black, but uh, I think it looks good. It looks really good. It matches the color. Yeah, right? The black, yeah. You know, I had some black headlights and I, I couldn't find them. I think I threw them away. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I had some, uh, remember that extended cab I used to have? Well, they were smoked, they were f***ing black. So I was looking for them, but I couldn't find them. I think they would've gone good too. Black headlights, black wheels, and the little black accents, it would've probably looked good. You gotta pop that hood though, I gotta see it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good too, now. What you think? It's gonna be a fun day tomorrow. Hell yeah. Size like turbo? Ooh. I don't know what that means, but it sounds, <laughs> it sounds clean. Dino already? No, not yet. Yeah, right now it's just in a base tune. It's that stock transmission that hopefully it don't go out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, man, it, it yeah. hits good. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs>
didn't shoot out flames? It didn't shoot out flames? No. no? We're just there right now. We're just there right now. <laughs> A little shout out to Alan for the little gifts. It's got like 20 different functions. <laughs> but right now I need the uh, the flat side. <laughs> That's a flamethrower, okay? It's a two step. Flamethrower. The flamethrower. Let's see if it shoots flames right there. Let's see if it shoots flames right there. The line. For we didn't have time to put tires on the lightning guys so we're not gonna put it in the burnout pit this year or for this event i do have some brand new tires for it but i don't want to put those on yet they're nettle tires to match the front but they didn't have time to put them on so we're not gonna be putting the lightning in the burnout pit today or tomorrow so it's gonna be this one we'll have some fun with this one i don't think i'm gonna want to put the lightning back in the burnout pit after having fun with this one oh yeah for sure who's riding shotgun Shit, i'm down <laughs> i'm down i'll fly the drone oh shit. <laughs> they all didn't get the camera oh yeah Will you throw the tacos down tomorrow? Oh, or? yeah, bro. You know it. I get it down. Hell yeah. Tacos, salchicha. Ooh, salchicha. Get a little breakfast tacos. Yeah, I just want to get a pack of sausage. <laughs> but he said he wants all the sausage. Like oh, get it, la like sausage. Like a enterita. He wants a full link. <laughs> That's where I hit the fuck up. The meat. The what? 20 pounds of meat. Yeah. And the pack of sausage. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it hit. That's where it hit. Yeah. Yeah, the cable came. Vino, like, I guess we got too close to this side of the truck. Yeah. So the cable came, hit the exhaust, didn't scratch it or nothing. Well, I mean, if it did, you can't even see it. And then it came over the exhaust and it hit the fender right there. Yeah, so it got scratched. It got a little love tap right there. Nothing a little wrap can't fix? Nah. I know, I know. Actually, we we'll just throw a little decal on there. Where? Right there to cover the little... Oh. Vamos al... Si que <laughs> for real, that's right. a perfect spot for it. <laughs> it might be too big, but yeah. maybe we could just put it on like right here somewhere. Like straight ahead, like see came out or like, like that. Unless it gets too hot there. You think it'll get too hot? Nah. Decal get all melted. It might. Right? It might. Is it hot now? It'll be, it'll be even better because the decal be see came out. There you go. See came out and the decal is halfway missing. Yeah, for real. The decal. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put one on right now. Oh yeah? Which one did you get? Right that or what? Hala chinga. Damn. I don't know, maybe... Well, I, I know it's meant to cover the little scratch, but would it look better if it's centered with the exhaust? Yeah. What do you think, Julio? I think a little behind it. A little behind it? Yeah. Nah, right there, maybe. It goes, oh, with, it goes with the flow of the, of the exhaust right there. <laughs> nah, nah, that's too far back. <laughs> right there? Yeah. Is so that center? Center? Chilo, chilo lente. No tengo los lentes, güey. <laughs> ah, me quedé en choco, güey. That looks good. It's because the fender curved. Oh, it's a fender. It's a fender, güey. No está no <laughs> derecho el pinche no, fender. No es el, no el mono. No, no, es el fender, a <laughs> huevo. It's good. I'm also going to cop the Sikema Cut decal tomorrow. I know, right? It's good. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're just gonna finish loading up the trailer, getting everything buttoned up, everything ready to go. Load up the, t the burnout truck, the man on the trailer, so we can head over to the track, the Houston Raceway track. So we can leave the whole setup, be ready to go for tonight. That way tomorrow morning we just show up. That's how we like to do it. Porque es menos pedo mañana mañana. Because if, if you guys have gone to these shows before, OTM and the shootout, man, pone, pone hasta la madre. No, it didn't, way. Silver is so yeah. clean, it's man. All yeah, that's all it needed. But no, la negra si es un pinche pedo, you know? Un pedo. Yo, the race lines. What you think about the new wheels? It's sick. They're good, huh? It matches the trailer with the truck. Yeah, yeah, it does. Well, it's black on black. Yeah. It's been a while since you guys have seen La Mamalona de Edgar. It's not lifted anymore. Got a what? What is it? 2-4 drop? What pinche 2-4? What is it? Uh, I think a 5-7. 5-7? 5-7, 4-6. What do you mean? I think, because they had to cut springs. Looks like a pedal. 
tuvieron que hacer un jale. Tuvieron I think it was a 4-6 kit, but they cut it to a 5-7. 46 k and then they made some modifications to drop it a little bit more. Yeah, because yeah, it wasn't sitting right. I mean, it was sitting too high from the back, huh? Yeah, out in the back, they had to cut it to yeah. lower it more. Yeah, see? Here it is, guys. La mamalona de Edgar. No more 22 by 14s. Ahora sí, 20s. Dijo que gas prices are going up. Es la daily driver, pero... Well, it used to be the daily driver, but ya no more. Yeah, Not no. with the fucking gas prices. Yeah. Now, he's been having some wheels on the down low for a while. Ya tengo como unos... I think, uh, Two years. He's been having some wheels on the deal for two years, guys. No se los quiere poner. I don't know why. Maybe this year. Yeah. So on uh, 26 is all around. 26 by 9 in the front, 26 by 12 in the back. It's on race last way. Like many wow, wheels, la, la the trailer. Yeah. So pretty soon, guys, you'll see this truck with some new wheels. I'm just trying to convince them, convince them, guys. Drop a comment below, Edgar. Put the wheels on so you can put them on. Yeah? Yeah. Wheel. Sure. Bueno, vámonos.